Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, of course, no member of the SNP is completely without sin. However, some are more sane than others. And one of the more sane ones appears to be Alex Neal. He has penned a piece for the Holyrood magazine in which he accepts that the SNP government is not open and transparent. It doesn't have any kind of um, internal controls over who says what. Nobody is allowed to disagree with the leader and there is no sort of freedoms within the party. It all seems to be centrist uh, and driven by uh, a sort of a cult personality, you know, a cult of personality at the top. Certainly, he says, there's very little democracy within the SNP itself and therefore within the SNP government. And I think he's got it right. Um, but for someone as senior as uh, Neil, well, obviously, he's uh, sort of semi-retired now, but he still keeps his nose in the game without actually being an MSP. But for someone as senior within the party as Alex Neil to come out and say that is quite telling. And it makes you wonder if he's doing it right now um, as part of a campaign, a whispering campaign against Hamza Yousaf. Is it perhaps that he thinks Hamza Yousaf needs to go and if he can just add his voice to the chorus of disapproval, then perhaps there may be motions afoot, as it were, to try and disengage from the leader of the party. Let's take a look, see what Alex Neil is saying. Here goes. So we are, Holyrood Magazine, as we say, there's uh, Alex Neil. Let me just move that over to the left somewhat so we can read that easier. There we go. Uh, former SNP minister has said Scottish Parliament is behind Westminster on internal democracy. And I think he's absolutely right. Now, like I say, uh, Alex Neil himself, not entirely without um, a shade in the, or two in the past, but I do feel he's a bit more old school. Um, MSP, uh, SNP. He's not one of the current mob of uh, chances and charlatans. Um, I, I believe that he's someone who um, actually believes in what he says, which is uh, unusual and rare. It seems to be just the old boys, doesn't it, really? But that's what it is. Uh, so former SNP minister Alex Neil has said that the Scottish Parliament is behind Westminster in terms of internal democracy because of a lack of transparency and accountability from the government to committees. Now, we all know that they constantly harp on, the SNP, about openness and transparency, but it is, of course, the one thing they cannot possibly stomach. They must not ever have any. They're so shady, and everything they do is so mired deep in corruption that they really don't want it. They don't want people looking at them. Uh, anyway, the former MSP was speaking alongside former Scottish Labour leader John Lamont and Hollywood Magazine's editor Mandy Rhodes at an event at the University of Edinburgh titled Reform at Holyrood. Neil said that the four key founding principles of the Scottish Parliament, openness, transparency, accountability and sharing power, are being eroded. Well, yeah, because the last thing, like I say, they don't want to be open, they don't want to be transparent, and nobody must ever be held accountable, that's for sure. And as for sharing power, never, according to the SNP. Uh, he was critical of the Scottish Government, telling the audience that it is saying no to handing over information to parliamentary committees uh, that they have requested, and giving the Salmon Inquiry and the ferry fiasco as examples. And indeed, the Salmon Inquiry is about to take a strange turn because obviously with Alex Salmon now going to uh, to court, then the whole of that Hamilton report will undoubtedly enter the public domain, fully unredacted. That will cause major embarrassment, both to the SNP as a whole, to Hamza Yousaf personally, and of course totally, to Nicola Sturgeon. Neil said the government shouldn't, need, shouldn't be allowed to say no. It should be automatic. Every parliamentary committee that asks for the documentations should get them. And if there is a dispute with the government, then in my view, it should be referred to the Information Commissioner and they can decide if it is genuinely something so sensitive that it could do net damage. But government ministers should not have the power to stop it. It should be automatic that if a committee demands the paperwork, they should get it. No ifs, no buts. 
and unless it is a very exceptional case, in which case the, the information commissioner could rule it out. He added that it makes his blood boil uh, when people say the Scottish Parliament's committee sy committee system was the answer to a second chamber. Um, now, both Lamont and Neil were critical of the list system used in Scottish parliamentary elections. Yeah, because it allows small parties with very few votes spread thinly across the country to actually enter government. QV, the Greens. They got barely a few thousand votes between them. There they are making important decisions that are ultimately damaging to the economy, damaging to Scots, damaging to everything. Not one decision they've made has ever been good, and yet they have got power way beyond any democratic accountability, and it is quite wrong. Um, he said, the former Scottish Labour have said, there is a problem with how the list operates in that the candidates have to address the selectorates to be placed higher than their colleagues. He said, the complete break in connection between being an elected member and the needs of your constituents is reinforced by the fact that the people you have to keep in with is the folk in your own party. And the idea that I was going to have to bite my tongue on some of the issues I've been arguing for all my political life, I just couldn't bear it. You end up arguing for what the people who are going to vote for you want to hear. It's a closed circle. Neil describes the list system as pernicious and suggested it would be replaced with a system of STV, a single transferable vote. He said in which he said it's a far better system of proportional representation. Uh, the single transferable vote is the system used for local council elections and allows voters to rank candidates by preference. And to be honest, if you have a look through it, there are an awful lot of rank candidates. Unfortunately, of course, most of them end up getting elected. There we go. So that's him. He, he's saying that uh, the SNP um, aren't open, aren't transparent, try not to be accountable and don't like sharing power. Thanks, Alex. Tell us something we don't know. But it is nice to see someone senior within the SNP come out and admit that this is a problem. Coming up. Yep, so there he is. Alex Neil actually spouting honesty, truth. Things that people can agree with. It's weird when you hear it coming out the mouth of someone from the SNP, isn't it? It doesn't sit right. Something's amiss, you think. But no, he's got it nailed on. Well done, Alex. Anyway, I'll finish there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.